Dungeness in Kent has a rich history in sea angling folklore. This mark has been made famous with some incredible catches of cod. Les Moncrief has developed modern beach casting here and there's been catches of 20 pound cod over the years. We found records of an 84 pound conga in the 1940s and also a 14 pound turbot. There have been gigantic hauls of flatfish with a thousand pounds in weight of cod apparently taken on one night between three local anglers. These days have of course gone but good fishing can still be had year round from the beach here either from the back of the boats or through to the boils area which sits in the lee of the nuclear power station. When approaching Dungeness from the west you'll come across this roundabout and all you're really doing is following signs to the Dungeness Nature Reserve and the power station. Uh, pretty well signposted but you want to be turning right there for the fishing marks. Uh, we're going to take a look to the left where it's showing bait and the best place to get your bait would be the Seagull Fishing Tackle Shop. Um, well worth giving a ring and especially checking on their web website as well there. Uh, very good for your lugworm. So we'll take a little drive now uh, through the road that leads up to Dungeness. Uh, make a note there, you're going across a little railway and uh, now you're running parallel, you've got the beach on your left hand side and the power station sort of ahead to your right. Uh, don't normally drive this fast, it is a sped up film honestly. But you are in a nature reserve here so it's worth uh, noting there are nesting birds, um, there's certain rules and things as well. It's very well managed uh, by the Dungeness Club. First parking spot, really off-road parking there. Uh, as you can see, you're there. And you're heading towards the point, uh, which would be on your right as you walk down. So you've got some boats there. We recommend a good place to start is up, up the uh, pathway there and down in front of the boats. It does give you some shelter from those southwesterlies. You can see the little track there. Now you can get a key if you're a member of the club, um, which we'll talk about later, and that gives you access there. You can go and park at the end, but it's not a too far walk. And when the road bends round at the end of that little walkway, um, first mark we wanted to look at was over there, uh, up behind these boats. A good spot, as I say, for sheltered fishing. Up-to-date information can be found on Seagull Tackle. Um, but uh, this, this mark will fish right the way through the tide, from low tide up. Um, and again, you can catch codlin here. You'll uh, more than likely catch dogfish and whiting as well, but a good spot for the bass. So if we look now, we're actually looking down towards the west and the power station you see on your right-hand side. And it's a big expanse of shingle here, um, so you should be able to find your spot and choose your mark depending on the conditions. And of course what you've heard uh, has been caught recently from the Seagull Tackle website. Uh, there is a walkway here, sometimes referred to as the walkway, um, which can give you access from that road. Um, and that's you looking now down towards the bowl. As you can see in the distance there, there's a, a little marker buoy. Uh, that's the outfall from the power station. Um, and that's a good almost almost three quarters of a mile walk down there as well. So um, two lighthouses to get your bearings and the uh, power station there as well. So about midway midway down now. There are various uh, landmarks to let you know whereabouts on the beach you are fishing. Uh, you've got the lighthouses there and the power station itself. I'm going to take a look at the boils now. Uh, this is where the outfall from the power station um, hit, hits the water and creates a lot of turbulence. You're better off driving to the end of Dungeness and there's a parking spot there. You're going to, uh, that's where you want to park in there and that's the gate you want to pass through. Uh, you'll be walking along here and turning right keeping the power station on your right at all times to find the fishing mark called the boils. There's a pathway out the back of the beach there. You can walk across the beach of course, just a little bit easier with all your tackle um, to walk along uh, the solid path behind that bank of shingle. And you'll be looking down at this sort of area here. As you can see it's a, 
a really intriguing place to fish. The birds are wor working along the coastline there. They're picking up uh, bait that's been disorientated and battered by that uh, water. Also a good spot for the bass as well. Um, no need to really cast far unless you want to get right in on that. So you're basically fishing behind the power station. Now Dungeness uh, is suitable for beginner anglers but only during the summer months in good conditions. We're looking here at a quite a mild sort of late summer's evening. You're not facing any problems but you come here during a strong southwesterly or even easterlies particularly in winter uh, and it really is quite hard going the fishing here. Some huge swells uh, when those waves pound in so do be careful about when you fish and it's worth taking advice from locals as to uh, what sort of conditions fish best. Uh, we've got rods out here fishing the boils. You don't need to cast right into that boil because the um, bait and the bait fish will be taken down tide um, you know, right the way across Dungeness because of this sort of outfall. So don't be afraid to fish close in here. Perhaps if you're after the bass with a live bait uh, can work well, live pouting or whiting and so distance casts aren't necessary uh, which is lucky really looking at that amateurish cast so it's not all experts that fish here <laughs> um, but there you go that's the boils you can obviously can see the seagulls there working the boils um, always a good place to fish uh, usually quite popular um, but let us know how you get on if you're going to fish Dungeness it'd be great to know just leave some feedback uh, at the bottom of the YouTube channel and I'll try and get back to you if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.